On today's episode, I'm gonna play my absolute favorite modern distortion pedals from my collection, and I'm gonna pull out some riffs, and I'm gonna rock so hard that your face is gonna itch. It's gonna be like you have poison ivy in your soul. <laughs> Roll intro. <laughs> First up is the Seymour Duncan Palladium. It's the chemical element of atomic number 46, and it's this beautiful black distortion pedal with nine knobs and an integrated boost. The thing I like most about this, other than the awesome boost that you can smash into the front and get a little more gain and presence, is the fact that this mid control is super powerful. Check it out. destruction drive I do not see this brand enough you need to go check out the website I met these guys at NAM. he's a phenomenal circuit designer and this is a high gain pedal to be reckoned with <laughs> from the desert shores of Canada is Dr. Scientist The Elements. This has been a long time favorite distortion pedal of mine. It does some lower gain sounds, but we don't care about that right now because we're in distortion mode and this pedal definitely delivers. It has enough toggles to toggle your brains out. It has knobs for all kinds of stuff. It's super fun and the blend control is phenomenal because if you're a bass player, that's really nice. You can add in your clean attack back into the distorted signal and it's really Really fun for some creative guitar sounds as well. And it's gold, like a gold nugget. It's like a gold nugget of distortion. That's exactly what this is. Next up is the GFI System Jonassis Drive. This has two sides, so I'm gonna start it on one side set, kind of on a medium crunch, and then I'm gonna engage the full on distortion. This thing's super cool and versatile. You've got a button here which enables three different LED modes that show you the different clipping styles that they have going on. It's got a dip switch on the back. It's really cool. I like that it's a unique enclosure size as well. It's a great pedal. Often, but when I do, it happens. A JHS kilt. I'm going to show one of my own pedals. I'm really proud of this because it does high gain distortion very, very well. It's based around the classic Expandora, which is kind of like a Proco rat on cocaine. 
you know, just use your imagination. But let's talk about the pedal. I have a different mode that I can put it in. So I plug in the red remote. I'm gonna start off with the lighter mode and then punch this in for the distortion sound with a little bit of gating on the front end. So it's a really massive sound. Check it out. Let me know what you think. Straight out of Denmark with a mustard sharp cheddar cheese paint job is the Mud Honey by T-Rex. This thing is legendary. You engage this boost section and it is a very, very powerful and simple to use distortion. Caroline Guitar Company's Wave Cannon MK2 Super Distorter. This is a really, really fantastic medium to high gain distortion pedal. You have the chaos switch here, which sends it into feedback. I'll show that off at the end of the riff. I like this pedal. I love that you have to feel it out because the knobs don't really tell you what they do. And there's really not a bad sound in it, so you can't go wrong. <laughs> drive-by by daredevil this is a hot rotted and very modified distortion plus and in my opinion it is the best distortion plus style pedal on the market it's an amazing hard clipping distortion it's got that 70s vibe but because of the mods he's done it can lend itself to modern music and very very high gain you'll notice i only have the distortion knob kind of halfway so it goes a lot further than i'm even taking it it's a great pedal, and I think you'll like it. out of the park this year with their brand new pedal line and the pugilist distortion is no exception it has fancy knobs that you can choose to light up or not so i'm definitely going to light those up and this circuit is really cool because it's two different drive distortion pedals that are cascading into each other if you choose series and if you flip down to parallel it puts them over the top of each other and you can blend that so there are tons of sounds in this it does light gain really well, but it really, really shines in the heavy distortion category.
Last but not least is the Strymon Sunset Dual Overdrive. When you and I usually think of Strymon, we think of amazing delays, modulations, and reverbs, but they do some really great drive pedals. And side B of this in the two stage setting is an amazing heavy distortion. So try these out, give them a chance. I really, really like them. It's one of my favorite distortion pedals in the entire collection here. So. I think that says a lot. You check it out, let me know what you think. play every distortion pedal that I love because we'd be here for like two, three hundred hours and ain't nobody got time for that. So I'm going to mention some things that I have and I really love. And if you've been looking at any of these I'm about to show you, I highly advise you just grab them. If you have any doubts, I possibly, most definitely can guarantee that they're probably exactly what you need. And if you're good with that, then I'm good with that. So first up is the Earthquaker Devices Acapulco Gold. It is a power amp distortion. This has a chip in it that's basically a small kind of power amplifier circuit and one knob. It's brutal, it's super amazing, and it's harsh in the best ways, meaning you can slam the front of your amp. Very, very powerful. The Rin and Cuff 2.5. This is a very different and unique distortion. If I were ever to do an episode about unique distortions or drive pedals, this would be in it. It's a 25 volt overdrive, has a full tone stack. It's really, really great. The Friedman BEOD, he makes phenomenal amps. You should check those out. The PAL 800 Gold Overdrive. This is a company that's up and starting. This is kind of a hot rotted JCM 800 sound. Walrus Iron Horse, it's kind of a, a heavily modified take on the rat distortion. So I like it just because of that. And it has some great features that give it an ability to swing from medium, low, and the really high gain sounds. The old FX70 DOD Metal X. You see these pedals, you know, they're kind of weird, uh, but this one has a great high gain sound and they're really, really affordable. And if you're lucky, you end up with a battery compartment because basically that's when you know you really hit home with an old DOD pedal. And last of the honorable mentions is the TC Electronic Dark Matter Distortion. This thing will get really brutal, but it also does some lower distortion sounds that I think are really cool, especially for drop D or lower tuning on any of your guitars. I'm done. Today's record time is brought to you by 1994's Soundgarden Super Unknown. So I was a grunge kid. I got a guitar because I heard Pearl Jam and I actually heard this a little bit later than I should have. And when I did, it's pretty much, I'm almost certain, it's the first record I heard that had what I feel to be full on distortion. The guitar tones were extremely heavy compared to Pearl Jam and there were drop tunings and it just had a whole other vibe. I love, love, love this record. Um, all the instrumentation, the way it's mixed, the way it's produced, the vocals are insane. He's one of the best rock singers ever. My favorite songs are Fell on Black Days, Super Unknown. Black Hole Sun was super popular. It's okay, it's a good song. It's a great song, but I think there's better songs on the record. So check this out if you haven't. If you remember it and have kind of forgotten, get a refresher, jump back in. Let's talk about this record and other Soundgarden records. I love the way they use distortion. And in the comments below, tell me your favorite records or a record that really turned you on to a way that distortion can form an album or a band in a way that you'd never heard before. Thanks so much for watching this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. In those comments below, let me know about your favorite distortion pedal that I played or one of those that I mentioned. Also toss in some stuff that you have that I didn't mention, all the things that you love and have used over the years. I love to see how you've been using it, how long you've had it, just your thoughts in general. If you like this episode, hit like, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell icon 
icon for notifications of future episodes. Until next time, just keep rocking out. Plug in those distortion pedals, chain them together, just make some noise, drive everybody crazy. Because that's where the real joy is. When everyone around you is crazy and you're rocking out, that's what life's all about. Bye, guys. Bye-bye.